Imagine if you could be in two places at once. Sounds impossible, right? Welcome to the weird world of quantum physics, where the impossible becomes possible. In this enigmatic realm, particles don't play by the rules of classical physics. Instead, they obey the laws of quantum mechanics, where the ordinary becomes extraordinary. One of these strange phenomena is quantum superposition, a concept that's as puzzling as it is fascinating. Quantum superposition suggests that particles can exist in multiple states at once. Yes, you heard that right? A particle isn't just here or there, spinning this way or that way. It's doing all of that at the same time. It's only when we observe the particle that it chooses a state. To illustrate this, let's take a detour into a thought experiment proposed by Erwin Schrödinger, one of the pioneers of quantum mechanics. It involves a cat, a flask of poison, a radioactive source, and a Geiger counter inside a sealed box. The radioactive source has a 50% chance of decaying and triggering the Geiger counter, which would then break the flask, releasing the poison and killing the cat. Now, according to classical physics, the cat is either alive or dead, based on whether the atom has decayed or not. But in the bizarre world of quantum mechanics, until we open the box to check, the cat is considered to be in a superposition of states. It's both alive and dead at the same time. Mind-bending, isn't it? This is the essence of quantum superposition. Particles existing in multiple states at once, only deciding their state when observed. It defies our everyday understanding of the world, yet it's one of the fundamental principles that governs the quantum universe. So if a cat can be both dead and alive at the same time, what does that say about our reality? As we delve deeper into the mysteries of quantum physics, we'll uncover more such perplexing questions, challenging our perceptions and pushing the boundaries of our understanding. Stay tuned as we unravel the fabric of the quantum world. Now imagine if you could instantly affect something, no matter how far away it is. This is the concept of quantum entanglement. Diving into the realm of quantum physics, we encounter a phenomenon that seems like it's straight out of a science fiction novel. This phenomenon, known as quantum entanglement, is one of the most intriguing aspects of quantum mechanics. Picture two particles that are dancing in sync, mirroring each other's movements exactly. This synchrony remains no matter how far apart the particles may be. Now, this isn't a case of one particle sending a quick message to the other. No. The changes are instantaneous, defying the very fabric of space-time as we understand it. This is quantum entanglement, a phenomenon that's as spooky as it sounds. Quantum entanglement was first proposed in a thought experiment by Albert Einstein, Boris Podolsky, and Nathan Rosen. This trio of brilliant minds posed a paradox, questioning the very nature of reality as we know it. This paradox, known as the Einstein-Podolsky-Rosen paradox, or EPR paradox, is an important cornerstone in our understanding of quantum entanglement. The EPR paradox suggests that two particles can be so deeply linked that measuring the state of one instantly determines the state of the other, regardless of the distance between them. This might seem like telepathy or instantaneous communication, but it's not. The two particles don't communicate, they are entangled. They are two parts of a single quantum system. Einstein famously referred to this phenomenon as spooky action at a distance, as it seemed to violate his theory of relativity, which posits that nothing can travel faster than light. But quantum entanglement doesn't involve any travel or communication. It's simply a connection, a link that exists beyond our conventional understanding of space and time. So, in the quantum world, it appears that physical separation doesn't matter. Two particles can be on opposite ends of the universe, yet remain intimately connected. It's as if they're not two separate entities, but rather two parts of a single unified system. In the quantum world, it seems that distance is just an illusion. What if reality only exists when you look at it? Welcome to the observer effect. In the seemingly bizarre world of quantum physics, there exists a peculiar phenomenon known as the observer effect. It's a concept that challenges our very understanding of what reality is and how it functions. So what exactly is this observer effect? Well, at its core, the observer effect states that the mere act of observing a particle changes its state. 
Imagine you're peering into a box containing a cat. According to quantum physics, the cat is both alive and dead, until you open the box and observe it. The act of you observing forces the cat into one state or the other, alive or dead. But how can this be? Isn't reality objective, existing independently of our observation? That's what we've always believed, right? But quantum physics throws a curveball at this classical notion. It proposes that the act of measuring or observing not only disturbs what has to be measured, but can also determine the state that is observed. This is not just a theoretical musing, mind you. The observer effect has been experimentally proven in the famous double-slit experiment. When particles are not observed, they behave like waves, producing an interference pattern. But once we start observing, they behave like particles and not waves, and the interference pattern vanishes. So what does this mean for our understanding of reality? It suggests that reality is not set in stone. It's not an objective entity out there. Instead, it seems to be a subjective construct, dependent on our observations. This is a radical departure from our usual understanding, and it's still a hot topic of debate among physicists. So, the next time you look at the stars in the night sky or at the cat in the box, remember reality might not be as objective as it seems. It might just be in the eye of the beholder. This suggests that our reality might not be as objective as we think. Ever wished you could walk through walls? In the quantum world, that's a reality. Welcome to the intriguing realm of quantum tunneling, where particles have the audacity to defy classical physics and do the seemingly impossible, pass through barriers that should be insurmountable. Quantum tunneling is a phenomenon that sounds more like a sci-fi movie plot than a scientific principle. Yet it's a fundamental aspect of quantum mechanics that shatters the boundaries of our everyday understanding of the world. Imagine, if you will, a ball rolling up a hill. According to the laws of classical physics, if the ball doesn't have enough energy, it won't make it over. It'll roll back the way it came, right? But in the quantum world, there's a twist. The ball can simply tunnel through the hill, popping out on the other side as if the hill was never there. But how is this possible? Quantum mechanics tells us that particles, like electrons, don't exist in one fixed location. Instead, they exist in a haze of probability, a cloud of maybe here, maybe there. This cloud can extend through barriers, and if the conditions are right, the particle can appear on the other side. It's as if the particle borrows energy from the universe to make the leap, promising to pay it back in a flash. This is not just theoretical musings. Quantum tunneling isn't just a quirky feature of the quantum world. It has real-world implications and applications. It's the principle behind the scanning tunneling microscope, a tool that allows us to image individual atoms. It's part of the nuclear fusion reactions that power our sun and stars. In conclusion, Quantum tunneling demonstrates that the world at its most fundamental level operates under rules that can seem strange and counterintuitive to us. It's a stark reminder that at the quantum level, the universe is not as it seems. The walls we perceive as solid and insurmountable can become porous and negotiable. This shows that in the quantum world, barriers are not as solid as they seem. With all these mind-bending concepts, what does quantum physics mean for our future? Well, the weird world of quantum physics is not just an abstract realm of thought experiments. It has tangible implications for our lives and the future of technology. The strange phenomena we've been exploring, like quantum entanglement and superposition, are being harnessed in real-world applications. Quantum computing, for instance, is a burgeoning field that promises to revolutionize our world. Traditional computers use bits represented as zeros and ones. Quantum computers, however, use quantum bits or qubits, which, thanks to superposition, can be both zero and one at the same time. This allows quantum computers to process data at an exponentially faster rate than classical computers, potentially solving complex problems that are currently beyond our reach. But it's not just about speed. Quantum computers could also lead to breakthroughs in fields like medicine by helping us understand complex biological processes and design new drugs or in climate science by enabling more accurate weather predictions and climate models. Then there's quantum cryptography, another fascinating application of quantum mechanics. 
It exploits the peculiar traits of quantum particles to create codes that are virtually uncrackable. Quantum cryptography could help us secure our digital world in ways that are impossible with classical cryptography, safeguarding our data from hackers and providing a new level of privacy and security. But remember, we're just at the dawn of the quantum age. As we continue to uncover the secrets of the quantum world, we'll likely find even more ways to apply these strange phenomena. Maybe we'll develop teleportation technology based on quantum entanglement or ultra-precise sensors using quantum superposition. It's a thrilling time to be alive as the line between science fiction and reality blurs. As we continue to delve into the mysteries of the quantum world, who knows what other impossibilities will become possible?